Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I am Gabriele. Today is the Isle news. Uh, just because Punchbucket posted on the Isle official Discord a couple of things on the roadmap updates, uh, just the roadmap updates, we're gonna check it in a few moments, and in announcements we have uh, the Isle devlog for January uh, 2022. That's kind of cool. Now, by the way, this is what the docs will look like in the future. I mean, uh, it's gonna be thrilling to be a human and uh, just uh, run away from dinosaurs and uh, climbing this ladder. I don't know, mm, climbing the ladder will make me feel safe as a mercenary, I don't know why. Probably because bigger dinos cannot break the structure. I guess it's not uh, uh, destructible. And uh, only pteranodons can get in the structure, but uh, they need a certain level of skills. Come on, a, a little bit, at least a decent pteranodon, it must be. Uh, now, let's go over uh, the dev blog. Felipe Tessaro has been uh, recovering from uh, a sickness. It's, I'm glad that he's good now. And uh, working on uh, new mechanics or, and on existing mechanics just uh, to prepare the ground for update six and five. Now, Amarok instead has been working hard on the easy anti-cheat integration. No mercy for cheaters. I completely agree. I mean, uh, those are not to be considered players. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, but kind of sad uh, people. All right, DM4 instead has been working on uh, a nice courting mechanic. Woohoo! I mean, uh, all of the courting mechanics for each playable, I assume. Caesar instead, after the wonderful uh, update 4 trailer subsistence, uh, has been working on uh, the next uh, update trailer which is update 5, with skin system, which I'm waiting very much, and uh, nesting system, which will help a lot, a lot other players, the new players above all. It doesn't matter if they are coming from Legacy, Evrima is a completely new experience. Plus uh, night vision with update uh, uh, 5. Now, Visual Tech instead has been working on uh, mainly docs, I guess. I mean, uh, it's been a lot of work has been put into these docs. Uh, great job, wonderful job. Again, all the links in the description below from the Isle Dev Blog 21 to uh, the Isle Official Discord to the Trello roadmap that I'm gonna jump uh, to in a moment. Tapwing uh, instead has been working on extra concepts for uh, uh, newer animals, for a couple of newer animals, for the Ipsilophodon, for example. They wanted to try something more arboreal for the nesting concept. Uh, a lot of these new things. I mean, uh, I'm very much eager then to see uh, the concept for the Ipsilophodon uh, nesting concept. I don't know. I, I just want to check it. Uh, it looks like uh, pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. And Kiss and Kitten closes the devlog by saying that the uh, whole nesting experience will be uh, a more uh, solid and better experience than uh, the legacy experience. I mean, uh, definitely expect a more robust nesting experience than you have previously experienced. Talking about legacy, I assume. Oh, yay! Uh, it's gonna be uh, pretty cool. Now, let's jump on what you want to know. Uh, the Trello roadmap. Yes, it's been updated after uh, being one day in lockdown. In, a, in the private mode, now it's uh, back open to the public. I remind you that the public roadmap uh, uh, is subject to change and uh, you have to take it uh, with a grain of salt because it's a rough guide. Then we're gonna see for, of course, a nesting mechanic, skin system and night vision with uh, uh, update five. Previous updates gave us, uh, well, all that we have now at the moment. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Update six instead is about gore night terrors with venom poison and trudon so these two update five and six did not change at all but update seven is a new thing i mean uh, update seven was like uh, to be announced and now we do have the perk system which uh, will give you uh, the possibility to choose a perk every temporary perk temporary perk at every uh growth milestone for example i imagine that you might get a perk to choose from uh at 25 percent growth stage then at 50 percent growth stage then at 75 and then at 100 now will i get a perk to choose from at zero percent growth stage as soon as i spawn as well 
not entirely sure, but we're gonna check it uh, later on. So as a play, as players progress to their value, values growth milestone, they will have the option to select between a variety of perks designed to support a varied play style. Awesome, awesome. And the Elder System. I remind you that uh, uh, the Elder System will need the support of the perk system. A lot of balance uh, will be done probably uh, by the time we are uh, in update seven. Update 7 will be in uh, a beta of a beta, like uh, on the quality assurance uh, server open to the public, I assume, I don't know, I'm just uh, making crazy assumptions here. Um, pretty much like update 4 with diets. Now, uh, nesting system, skin system, skin system, along with the elder system, uh, they give uh, players uh, a ki kind of a progression mode. I mean, uh, you can farm skins, uh, you can green skins, depending on what kind of gameplay uh, you have the most, for example, you play Uteraptor 10,000 times, you have died with Uteraptor 10,000 times, you select, you have you have been rewarded, Con congratulations, you have died with your uh, ten th uh, Uteraptor uh, 10,000 times, you have been rewarded, uh, I don't know, uh, a black and yellow skin, or uh, you have killed 10 Stegos with your Uteraptor pack, congratulations, you have been rewarded this skin etc etc and uh, this will give a sense of progression to players that we have never ever seen in the aisle this is the first progression system the skin system and the second progression system instead it is the elder system um once uh, uh i mean uh, let, let's go and read it by the way uh this Elders are larger, more powerful variations of the adult stage of life. They are only accessible by following certain diet and perk pathways. Probably, probably in the beginning, uh, if I play uh, as soon as the elder system is out, I will not be able to uh, become an elder because I don't know what kind of diet I have to follow. I do not know what kind of perk pathway I have to follow during my uh, growth milestones. Imagine uh, I select a 1% attack and 1% defense bonus at every growth milestone, a temporary bonus that is. Uh, then. Um, Gabriel, I'm sorry, you have not been selected to play uh, as an elder, to become an elder after you reach the 100% growth stage. Instead, you have to choose 1% attack bonus, 1% attack bonus, 1% attack bonus, and then you get to choose to become an elder. Plus, you never, never, ever must have eaten a Uteraptor, for example, as a Uteraptor. I, I don't know, if you, you have to follow a certain diet and perk uh, uh, pathway in order to become an elder. Once elder, you are stronger than uh, uh, any other adult of the same species but you are on a clock you start dying you start aging now if you manage to die if you manage to reach that uh, uh, threshold where you uh, can die you actually uh, can decide to die for real i mean uh, with your dinosaur <laughs> um, and reap a permanent reward probably a stat uh, bonus i don't know mm, you are zero point uh, 5% faster than uh, uh, any other average Uteraptor player, or you are 0.01% uh, uh, percent, uh, I don't know, with a better turning radius, etc, etc, than the average uh, Uteraptor player. I'm taking the example as Uteraptor, but pick the, any example you want, that's uh, as I understand it. Now, if you decide to die with your dinosaur, you can reap a permanent reward. I will reap a permanent reward, sorry. Uh, or, you cannot. Dying in any other fashion, what does this mean? Can I uh, get to choose not to die as an elder, so I become, I, I decide to choose, I mean, in my user interface, do you wanna die and reap a permanent reward or not? If you decide not to die, your elder uh, will become something else in animations and in strength. I wonder what that is. Something similar to hyperendocrine, something similar to uh, tissoplastics or neurotenic, something similar to, I guess. Uh, well, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please check Trello Roadmap. This was me uh, about Elder System and Perk System more than anything because I just love them. Um, just check Trello Roadmap. You can see that Update 8 and Update 9 they are a uh, work in progress as well. So we have a storm system, a flood system, fire system, fire system! <laughs> so developers want players uh, uh, 
to be immersed in uh, this uh, in this game kind of cool kind of cool and uh, update 9 instead is quality of life uh, i mean uh, we will be reassessing the quality of all previous systems and art bringing them up to as equal a standard as possible before moving on to humans now humans uh, will be introducing game um uh, in the normal servers by now uh, probably if they are not already in game they will be put uh, in normal servers soon uh, soon enough so we can all get to play them without being in the quality assurance branch generation 2 branch kind of kind of cool i guess it's all right i can play as a human on a normal server how awesome is that so quality of life pass after uh, update 8 is on oh man man i mean by update 9 we should be close enough to uh, being out of early access by the way ongoing content we have user interface overhaul and uh, artificial intelligence inhabitants smaller map smaller map newer players will love this newer players will actually love this smaller map i will love this when i am lost in the forest after i run away like crazy from my uteraptor mega pack so smaller map super useful so by the way, check all of the inhabitants, plenty of boxes have been checked, like uh, Baby, 7 out of 45, Ceratosaurus, 8 out of 45, so developers have been working sideways a bit on uh, uh, the next playables, like Ceratosaurus, Babyosaurus, Dilophosaurus, not that much, just 4 out of 45, uh, Gallimimus, 7 out of 45, Herrerasaurus 8, I mean, uh, and so on, Cantro 4, Magi 5, Ovi 11 out of 45. How are we going to expect Ovi Raptor with the nesting system? Hmm, I don't know, I don't know, probably it's just a crazy uh, guess of mine. Uh, well, j just check trailer roadmap, all of the links in the description below, kinda uh, cool, the new roadmap, it is a win in my opinion, a complete win with the Elder System in place uh, on update 7. And then, well, flood system, fires, uh, uh, and storms. Kind of cool. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, check all of the links in the description below. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.